I've had someone, a mother, say to me, I asked her, she was pregnant still, when are you deciding to finish breastfeeding? And she's like, oh, when baby's six months. And I was like, oh, did you know mm. that it's actually recommended? Don't get me wrong, everyone would have a different view for what they want to do for themselves. Mm -hmm. But the main thing is to be informed. I said, did you know that breastfeeding is actually recommended up until two years? Yeah. I don't think Got any health it. professional spoke to me about, uh, you know, how long I would or should do it for. But I, I have heard this six months bandied about rather a lot. And I think it's one of those, it's almost like a, like a urban myth. It's like, everybody knows this six months thing, but where did it actually come from? And why are we all working to it? The reason why it is, I think, where it stems from is that the time when you start introducing yeah. colleagues. Yeah. Mm. But it doesn't yeah. mean you but stop But you have to stop. And yeah. li that's yeah. literally what I did. Nia loved the breast, like she loved breastfeeding. And I enjoyed my time with right. her beautiful thing, the bonding, holding them, looking down into their gorgeous little faces, true contentment as the eyes roll back. And, it, you know, it's, it's an amazing thing. Right. Hard, I think, to let go of. Yeah. But when the time came, it came. It came. You know, it's a lot being tied, physically tied to a child all the time. By now I've gone back to work. She's been in nursery for a while. She has teeth. The benefit actually of it having taken so long to get to this point was I was actually able to reason with her to some extent. I mean, she's two at this point. And so I kind of weaned her down in the sense that she had a few nights to get used to it. So I was like, you know, I'll feed you tonight. We'll continue to have a cuddle for the rest of the week. But then after that, you know, we've really got to stop. And we just had a really beautiful last feed. I let her stay there for as long as we want, she wanted. We cuddled. And I was like, that's, you know, when we did say, that's the last one. The boy was lovely. We came to a mutual ending. He wasn't feeding as much. I, I, was, I went back to work and uni and stuff like that. And it, we parted ways mutually and lovely. The baby, who still looks for breasts to this day. How old is she? She's gonna be two in November. Uh, was not and is not easy. Mm -hmm. It had to come to an end because, like you, Nadia, um, there's a point in yeah, there. There, was a <laughs> there point is a point for me that I didn't like the feeling of her on my breast anymore. Um, I felt that my body was mine now, and she has got her time now, and we could comfort each other in different ways. I mean, we still do skin to skin and I still, still do skin to skin with my five-year-old. Mm. Um, but the, the breast just wasn't a part of it. The main thing I think is just for whoever, whatever decisions anyone makes. I don't think there's any wrong or right. It's what feels right for, for you. you. Mm. And I think that's how everyone should view it. Like everyone's journey is different. Mm. Everyone's on different, going a different way in their life. And we just have to look at that and take it as a, everyone as individuals the main thing is that everyone has got the information yes. they've got the information and they've got the support when they need that mm.